Orange Elephant. Talents are discovered in childhood. I am going to be a builder. And me, a designer. I am going to be a famous artist. And I just love painting. Orange Elephant. The vivid colors of a dream. Hi, I'm Svetlana, and these are my friends Juliana and Sergey. We are happy to introduce you to our modeling clay and new generation plasticine. Our modeling clay is unusually soft and light and feels so good in kids' hands. And how supple it is! Just see how little effort you need to stretch it and then roll up again to make a ball. You can play with it as with a tennis ball. Watch it bouncing so easily off the table. And that's not all. Folks, there are more surprises ahead. Our modeling clay absolutely doesn't stick to hands, hair, clothes or furniture. This is the wonderful feature parents will appreciate specifically. The color gamma of our modeling clay is vivid, bright and inspires positive thinking. And now we invite you to watch the real glamour of mixing. Let's take the classic colors yellow, red and black. Mixing them thoroughly to uniformity we get a totally new brown color. Mixing bright red and snow white in the same way we get gorgeous pink color. As you have already figured out, thoroughly mixing the clay of different colors in various proportions we can get any shade of color we are after, from the lightest to the dark. And if we stop halfway, mixing the two different color pieces of clay will obtain a spectacular marble pattern. It takes about 8 hours for an article to dry in the air, and then a toy is ready for your child to play with. However, if you don't want to keep the article follow our advice, Sprinkle it with water and put it into a hermetic container, a jar or a package to keep. Adding water will restore its suppleness and make the clay fit for further reuse for a long time. Now let's make simple figures like these little round balls and cute twists just with the motion of your hand. And of course these likable triangles too. By the way, these simple movements not only train the little kids' fingers, but enhance and develop their overall motor and verbal skills. See how simply and easily the clay is rolled with a roller pin. The axis can be cut off. To make a fringe for the scarf with the scissors is just as easy. Orange elephant, the vivid colors of a dream. And now you'll see a masterclass from a professional. We'll be making roses and a crocodile using modeling clay. Now we'll be making roses. For this we need white modeling clay. We want it not one color but motley. Let's use two more colors. Take small pieces of red and yellow. Now we're mixing in this way, spreading yellow and red in stripes over the mass of white. And now let's twist the whole piece just like this. And that's what we get – motley modeling clay. We are starting a rose from a stem now. This here's table will be its stem. If you have no staple, a twig, a stick or a small pencil will do. To begin with, tear off a small piece of clay and cover the upper put of the stem to cover the metal staple completely. Now we'll be making petals. Tearing small pieces, flattening them between index and thumb and fixing them to the stem one after another. Petal after petal. The more of them, the better. It will make your rose look lush and gorgeous 
and the thinner each of them is, the finer it will look. A bowl of green clay to make leaves of. Rose leaves on by one. Here we go. We can make a rosebud or a fully grown, half open lush rose. Okay, let's make it lush too. Now let's take the green clay. Tear off a small piece to make the bottom. Stretching a piece of clay this way and slightly twisting its end with our fingers. What we've got here are sort of dense. Like a little sack to wrap the bottom part of our rose in. Here we take a stick and make our flower cup a little more pronounced. Then we wrap up the whole staple with green clay to make a regular stem. The staple can no longer be seen. We've covered it all, and here is our rose on its stem. Let's make some thorns for it, for the sake of better likelihood. Now let's stretch small pieces and twist them between index and thumb. See what a rose we have made. Let's make some leaves. We take green clay, roll up a bowl, flatten it, and give it the form of a petal but with a sharp tip. This makes such a small round leaf. Then we reshape in this way, change its outline a bit and correct it a little more this way. The leaf is ready. And all we have to do is to fix it to the stem and here we are, our rose is complete. Orange elephant, the vivid colors of a dream. Now we are all set to make a crocodile. For this we need a piece of green clay to knead it and make the body. To make the body we take a cone and smooth it. Let's smooth it out properly. Our crocodile must be sleek. We will have a little tummy. See what a cone we have got here. Now let's make the tail. We pull it out of the lower part of our mass and stretch it sideward. Here goes the tail. This way. Now we go on making it. We are now taking care of the tummy. We roll out the yellow clay to spread it over the bottom part where the tummy is gonna be. Now that the piece is flat, we can start working with it. First of all, we fix it to the upper part and then we need the fixed part just a little and pull it tailward. Now we've got a real body with yellow tummy.
Now we're working with the back. Let's groove a pattern on it. Make his back rippled. And the tail too. That's our body. Now let's proceed with the head. We take a piece of clay smaller than the first one, knead it to and shape it as a head, the outstretched head of a crocodile. That's the form. Now let's make its mouth. For this we'll need our stick. With the stick we can make a cut just like this to make our crocodile green and right here we make such arrow-shaped clips. That's our muzzle. Let's make the eyes. We take two lumps of green clay, roll up two balls. Let's make them bigger, as crocodiles have bulging eyes. We stick them at the base of the head. Now the eyes are there, but they are unfinished. What's next? We take white clay for the eyeballs and black clay to make pupils. The eyes will consist of white and black and let's give them a surprised expression. Well, well, there's still something missing in those eyes. Let's give them a couple of sparkles. We take two tiny pieces of white and put them onto the black pupils. That's our greening face. Now let's fix it to the body. First, let's make a hole for the head to fit into it neatly. Now it's time for the nostrils. For them, we make two small balls and fix them to the head where the nose must sit. We use the stick to make the nostrils. That's our crocodile. He needs hands and feet, doesn't he? We take a lump of clay, split it up into four even pieces and stretch them into these here stripes. Two hands and two feet. That's it! Now we're gonna fix them in their place. Feet first. We fix them to the body, bending them so that to make our crocodile sit. And then the hands.
would take the stick and make his talons groove them on his feet with the tip of the stick. And for making fingers, we can use scissors. Here we are, our crocodile has hands and feet already. He will be an artist, just like me, okay? And we'll dress him appropriately in a very artistic scarf. To make a scarf, we need white clay, on which we're gonna spread clay of other colors in stripes and twist to make it all motley. Now we're rolling it out with a rolling pin to make it long enough to wrap around our crocodile twice. Our scarf needs a fringe, no problem. We've got scissors for that. Make a fringe on both ends. Now let's put it on. See, it is long enough to wrap it around his body even three times. Here he is, our crocodile in his scarf. So what else does he need to be a real artist? A painter, obviously a brush and a palette. Again, we'll need white modeling clay. First, we roll up a bowl. Then we flatten it with our rolling pin and shape it as a palette. A palette is oval with a cut out on one side and a groove for the brush. Now it's time to make holes for the paints, a hole for each color we want on our palette. Let's make them using a pen or a pencil stick and put tiny balls of clay of various colors into them. See the beautiful colors we can make ourselves. Mix red and white and make pink. Here goes the blue color. That's it, our palette is ready. Now let's make a brush. Here is a lump of clay, a leftover from our scarf. We may even add a touch of black to make it look completely like a piece of wood. This for the handle. We are making a small stripe and then with the scissors we cut off a piece the size of our handle and leave it to dry a little. Now the brush itself. Let's make a small cone and even twist it a little, just like that and fix it to our handle. This is our brush complete. Now let's fix the palette to the crocodile's hand and let him grab the brush with his other hand.
To make our crocodile even more handsome, we'll paint him with deco paints. Green color. For that, we spread the paint all over him as if with the brush. Oh, we forgot about the pattern on his back. Let's draw it with our stick. Just keep painting, it will glitter when it dries. He will have wonderful glittering armor. A very stylish crocodile we've got here. Well, if you have a brush, you can use it for touching up. Here we go. Well, our crocodile is almost ready now. That's our crocodile. Orange elephant, the vivid colors of a dream. Using the acquired modeling skills, you can create any fairy tale character you want. And here is our handicraft gallery. Orange elephant. Talents are discovered in childhood. Orange elephant. The vivid colors of a dream.